What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Mike LaBelle. Welcome back to the playbook. Today, we have a skill move that's been upgraded. It's got that goodness, and anyone can do it. If you're new to these parts, make sure to drop a subscription. Highly appreciated. As per usual, we're in the arena. You've already subscribed. Now you're liking the video, and today we're talking ball roll. We've done videos on this. I am not going to spend a bunch of time detailing how to do a ball roll. We're getting into the juicy stuff. If you have questions, there's a comment section. Did I mention versatility? Just all that goodness. We're going to start out with some of that on display from yours. Truly, look at this setup right here. Ooh, get out of my house. We're talking about a 1v1 variation. You're probably familiar in this type of situation. It's all about closing gaps. Goalkeeper. Oh, better believe it. He's coming off his line and we have that gap to work with anytime you see this type of situation some sort of skill move sidestep r1 dribble ball roll scoop turn fake shot cancellation you got options you're gonna score goals i don't see another route we're gonna take it right around that goalkeeper there you have it classy finish one more time for the people at home we won't spend too much time here you're familiar with being a goalkeeper but i will give you a little bit of a zoomed in scenario off the line <laughs> Yes, sir. Let's move. I've branded this the gladiator. It'll make sense in a second. You're in some sort of scenario. Again, we're zooming in. We got options that we got to beat. Defenders are chasing back. I need to create a degree of separation, a margin. Give me something on the Dirty Mike cookbook. Also noticing goalkeeper. He is off his line, but I don't quite have the gap yet. I mentioned it once. I'll mention it twice. We got defenders. And with a player like Holland, this isn't all lining up just yet. We got more to do. He's making contact. Now I'm thinking to myself, where am I going to take advantage? I got to make sure that I hold on to this ball. We're going to ball roll away from Virgil van Dijk. And something that's so special about the ball roll in particular, not only can anyone do it, but you could sidestep. You can re-angle. You can re-submit. You can create space and you can be so creative. I'm calling it a gladiator because we're beating a gladiator. He slides. You dive. You reach. I teach. There's your little ball roll. We now have a new angle and it is unlocked for a pass across that's the gladiator it did not have to be a slide i just want to put that out there you can beat a defender even ball rolling away from them it just gives you that half second of extra time you're going to score more goals that's what this channel is all about is making you the best player and giving you some of that extra spice and everything nice powerpuff girl style he backs off i might be calling this a ball roll combo shot you're used to seeing it into a travella this is going to set up oh so nicely rodrigo edge of the box Got that cookbook. And it's got to be said, when you have a defender and he's being manually controlled, this is the scenario, at least what's most likely. We've got a manual defender. You see the indicator? We love that. Take advantage. It's more than likely he's either going to come at me and become the aggressor or going to go with a passive play. Both scenarios, relatively common. Could he go left? Could he go right? Sure. I'm just telling you what's more than likely. I'm in a dangerous location. You got to make contact. You got to go for something. Or you're going to sit back and hope for a block. You're going to beg for some AI assistance, which does happen as well. We're going to introduce the ball roll. There it is. Secondary freeze. Hands behind his back. He backed off which gives us an easy angle. And in many circumstances here, and I think both would work, you want to go with the left foot, that's fine. You want to go with a Travella, that's fine. Both scenarios, that's your angle. It's been opened up. There's also a big gap. When you really think about it, look at this spacing between the center backs. You can split that better than a banana and some ice cream. I think that was a banana Sunday reference. You you'll see what I mean in a second. Rare that we see Rodrigo actually use his left. I didn't hit that L2, so it didn't happen. We move. I'm calling. Ooh, this is going to be a showcase, the double Travella. And we've seen so much ball roll into Travella. I wanted to show you a different setup and it is nasty just filth off rip take advantage of the space even if you're not technically going to use it you can make it feel like you would like you could like you will and it's warranted as you do understood same thing goes with skill moves in general everybody sees a lot of the same things on the pitch but you can take advantage you can overplay on purpose ready one that's nice and when he gets to this situation you start saying okay options are starting to open up on the pitch who's going to become the target man and if anything i think that's mia ham so the target woman she would be your your first option you've got a pretty simple recycle dangerous location and then both three and four should be making 
making some sort of move into space. So you're thinking, can they find this gap? And because of that circumstance, and even more so, you see this track back. That's the manual, man. He's not necessarily in that matchup as it stands. Oh, we go for that secondary ball roll. Look at this setup right there. Oh, that is so disgusting. You make it feel as if this individual actually has a chance. He does not. If anything, you ran away from him on purpose. You got your double team there. That's that secondary press on the indicator. These guys are cooked. They're not involved. Everybody's ball watching. Look at that lens. Cafu, stop playing with them. What a freaking goal. I mean, that's just disgusting. Can we watch it back? I'd like to. Again, you got Cafu. He's seen that this is the manually controlled player. So you're kind of beating an AI to a certain degree. There's the ball roll. This man's still chasing back, but he's not in position. So you know you can get away with a second ball roll. And the setup is just so nice. Slippery. Silky. Smooth. Text into space. You can expect some sort of setup. Something that I've always appreciated about the ball roll is you can use it and then go into other skills. Janola, there you have it. We're seeing this commonly. Where you recycle, you get yourself back towards the middle of the pitch, which of course naturally opens up options. And the game is all about what do I have available? Attacker one, attacker two. I will say this, three and four need more time. They're really not in the picture as it stands. There might be some development here, but either way, it's not in the business. So we've seen the ball roll. Now what? There's your step over. Mm-hmm. We like that. It's all about trying to figure out some player switching. Can you get some mistakes? Can you forge some mistakes with the defensive back line? That's why you throw out the ball roll, the step overs, the body feints. I will say this. It does appear a lane is being presented. One more ball roll. I think Tex has already had two opportunities to do something nice with this. But he's not done. He's a showman. Has to be. There's your re-angle. Space to work with. One more step over. Why not? That tutorial's on the channel if you want to learn how to do this boost. And there's the finish on the near post. So again, you keep your opponent guessing. Janola. Ball roll. Now we got angles. We're looking for the passing angle. Worst case, attacking the space. Okay? Tex is going into that space. Inside. Another step over. Gets a little bit of a boost going. All day, you're just watching for developments. But at the same time, you're moving. You're grooving. You've got space to work with. Here you have it. One more ball roll. You get that player switch. That is not what you want to see if you're on the defensive end because you're not with the contact. You're not in the community. You're not close enough to the ball. Janola, turn, move, groove. And that near post is nice. What a finish. I'm calling this Space Invaders. Classic game. You don't always see this. Holland looking for options. He finds somebody. Out wide. Davies. Again, on repeat. When you have space, always leverage the space. You got two players tracked back. In. You've got the double team and you got the main man. They're going to try to coordinate some sort of situation towards the ball. And if you're the attacker, you're always identifying, how do I get the ball to my options? And in this case, it's another triangle. Triangles, we like to see those. Always a good sign. Any triangle is a good triangle when we're talking about football, we're talking about FIFA, we're talking about FC. Ball roll one, cuts inside. Ball roll two, and I love what happens here. It reminds me of a game of pool where you have all the balls and they're congested. Look what he's caused with the two ball rolls a lot of bodies and none of them are in a good position this man is watching these two are so close to each other they can't do anything and you've got a double team where you're gonna have some sort of tracking into the situation it's a cluster i don't know what you're gonna do with holland as well you've lost an attacker either way what has happened and it's a definite is now you got some space i would say these three would be your main targets option one that comes to mind because he's got a gap to work with if anything option three is really more of a recycle and then you do have a travella angle there it is pick him out tevez one more pass eusebio all day every day i love this pro gameplay makes me happy a lot of space one two everybody's there i mean look at this congestion it's unbelievable talk about ball watching or getting sucked in this is something that the ball roll can do gives you that lane of space and now the options are endless you've got a new triangle that is just as dangerous and even that mbappe as it stands he would be on side so you've got your choice of two different dump offs here carlos tevis here or hitting up eusebio there mbappe here eusebio here you can pick your poison of options we love that you could even go alone if you were feeling it 
the goalkeeper never stood a chance. Forget about the movement. Anyways, you see what I mean. We love to talk about the classics. It resonates with yours truly. If you found this helpful, make sure to drop some love. It's free to subscribe. And I'm working on the ultimate finishing tutorial. And I'm talking every single way to score a goal in FC. There's a lot of techniques. I've been gathering clips. I appreciate you and we'll have a lot more coming out ASAP, ASAP.